Ferdinand Lassell, Willie Hare, Ashkenazi, Jewish. Karl Marx and Frederick Engels, two of the most world-renowned leaders of world socialism, were having a conversation when a German socialist leader became a topic of their conversation, LaSalle, in which Karl Marx referred to LaSalle as a Jewish nigger. It is perfectly obvious from the shape of his head and the way his hair grows that he is descended from Negroes. Quote from Karl Marx. Ferdinand Lassell, born April 11, 1825, died August 31, 1864, was a Prussian, German, jurist, philosopher, socialist, and political activist, best remembered as the initiator of the social democratic movement in Germany. Lassalle was the first man in Germany, the first in Europe, who succeeded in organizing a party of socialist action. Nature knows no color line. J.A. Rogers Negro strain or ancestry was even more evident in Ferdinand Lassalle, aristocratic founder of socialism. Marx, his rival, called him a Jewish nigger, a greasy Jew from Breslau, who was always concealing his woolly hair with all kinds of hair oil and makeup. In a letter to Ingalls, March 7, 1856, he said of the cell, it is perfectly obvious from the shape of his head and the way his hair grows that he is descended from Negroes. Page 130. He descended from the Negroes who accompanied Moses' flight from Egypt. Karl Marx, A Life, page 55. Song of Solomon, chapter 5, verse 11. His head is as the most fine gold. His locks are bushy 
and black as a raven. King James Version. Deuteronomy chapter 4, verse 27. And the Lord shall scatter you among the nations, and ye shall be left few in number among the heathen, whether the Lord shall lead you. Israelites in captivity and exile in all nations. Revelation chapter 7 verse 9 After this I beheld and lo a great multitude which no man could number of all nations and kindreds and people and tongues stood before the throne and before the Lamb clothed with white robes and palms in their hands. Israelites saved from captivity and exile from all nations, kindreds, and people. 